Hello, I'm Em Roskowski. I've been a working journalist in North America for more than 30 years. Over the last 18 months, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected all of us. It is arguably one of the most impactful events in the history of humanity. People are exhausted and anxiety-filled, wanting to know when it will all end. And perhaps even more importantly, at the end of 2019, where did this virus suddenly originate from? Is there an answer? The problem we have is that we don't have definitive scientific evidence. It will again remain an argument and those that have more, I would say, of a, a political agenda um, to argue that the origins was a laboratory one. All of the information we have about the early stages of this pandemic are consistent with natural origins. So these viruses hang out in their evolutionary host, and this particular one, we're almost positive, um, was from a bat because of all the other coronaviruses that are similar to it that we found in bats. So we're pretty sure that the original host was a bat. Uh, we have listened uh, again and again to numerous scientists who've looked at the sequences, looked at this virus, uh, and we are assured that this virus is natural in origin. And uh, what is important is that we establish uh, what that uh, natural host for this virus is. We have now in our study in PNAS unraveled the viral tree with the A, B and C types. We can now do something very neat. We can apply the mutation rate of the virus like a clock to our tree and calculate when the outbreak occurred. And doing this, we find that the first infection, possibly from a bat to a human, Many scientific publications support the natural spillover viewpoint, such as The Lancet magazine, which is an internationally respected independent medical journal. On July 5th, 2020, The Lancet published a letter backed by two dozen scientists, which stated that the strongest evidence available to date suggests the coronavirus pandemic emerged via a natural spillover event. In addition, several other respected science publications support this position too. Forbes magazine, dated June 9th, it stated most scientists, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, continue to believe the virus originated in animals in the wild and was transmitted to humans.